Hey guys, Darren here with Fancy Points, week number seven. Um, super interesting slight. Uh, one of the first weeks where I'm having some trouble because we're still waiting on news. Um, the Rams running back situation is a mess. Um, Metcalf, Lockett, hurting. You know, <clears throat> Metcalf picking up like a hip injury too. Last week and really hasn't practiced limited yesterday, uh, yesterday, which is Friday. So kind of curious what that point, how it like everything unfolds and we get some more news today. Um, the best place to find updates and things of that sort was definitely discord for the fantasy point subscribers. Come join us over at fantasypoints.com. Uh, follow us on YouTube, Twitter, everywhere else. And, um, yeah, uh, doing college, destroying college, loving college, and also NFL. Anyway, uh, we'll get right to it. DraftKings, 20 lineups, basic stack with a receiver, um, flex running back receiver. You do have Andrews Kelsey on the slate, so actually I wouldn't be opposed if it – I'm actually going to throw it in there because they're both – really good <laughs> and um michael mayer for the raiders is actually a viable punt so you know you could actually get a kelsey and a michael mayer punt and i'll be okay with it because you know you can't get any other you know players you know below three thousand that are usually viable um but you can't get them at all because uh you know they, the receivers only go down to three thousand so i'm going to put it in there kind of see what happens um, let's go look at the custom stacks that I made for this week. I'm going to start with Lamar Jackson, um, Andrews, Flowers, St. Brown coming back. Uh, Lions have really struggled against the slot, and both Mark and Zay, <clears throat> especially Mark, plays out of the slot quite a bit. Zay moves all over the place, but he also plays out of the slot. And um, from the research I do, St. Brown's actually got a really good matchup coming back. He looked good last week. He passed the DI test for me. I, I think that injury is just a, a non-issue anymore. So I, I like I like this game actually quite a bit. I know Lions defense has been pretty good, but I, I like this. It's not, you know, I don't think altogether it will be that super high of, um, as a whole. But um, yeah, do twenty five percent of this stack. Next up, we do Geno Smith. I'm putting in Lockett because I think, you know, he's healthier than Metcalf. And this is kind of interesting to do instead of like jamming in, you know, another Seahawk round on Earth to cheap enough where you could actually just come back with these two instead for a, a, you know, a double comeback. That's sometimes I play around with that where you don't have to have uh, the quarterback to have both. You can correlate them coming back on this side. And obviously you don't want the defense. Um, Max exposure, just like I said, standard. You know, see kind of what we came there. I'm not going to mess with the ownership of the flex this week. But we'll go look at some of the values, and we'll do this like I usually do. We'll sort by value. Russell Wilson pops at the top. Aiden O'Connell. Really good match. I mean, cheap. Um, he's got some pretty good weapons. Um, so let's we'll see if it'll be the Josh Jacobs show, though. But that price is really, really interesting. Sam Howell, kind of like a little bit. Love was awful last week, but he's got a really good matchup against uh, Denver this week. And we'll look at the running backs. Let's see what we got here. Makes it so easy, this man. Like I said, don't forget, if you haven't seen these videos, you can do exposure minimum. So you want to add at least this much or this much, the max you want. So you definitely want to have at least four. You can put in 20%. You know, you don't want any more than 45. We'll just throw that in there. Kim Walker, great value. And you can see the ownership popping in all these top four um, running backs. I just, you know, I think you're going to see a lot of teams with three of these for the flex. After these four, it gets a little iffy. Gibbs got a really good um, workhorse load upcoming. He's been hurt. Coach said he's going to be um, have to play a ton because of uh, injuries to Montgomery and value. Let's see what we got. 
Wandell, he, he pops every week. He's usually in the 3Ks. Samuel, he's been playing really well, um, really involved the last couple of weeks. McLaurin, obviously, Giants, you know, one of his teams he likes to play a lot. There's Marquise that we talked about earlier. London was great last week. And tight end. Let's see what we got. You can see all the ownerships all here. I'll redo this uh, Sunday morning. There's Michael Mayer not getting that much ownership. Like I talked about before, he doesn't have to do much, and he's been super involved. And typically when there's a backup quarterback, they'll try and, you know, lean on a tight end as like a little safety blanket. But I do think uh, Devontae Adams is going to get peppered this week with the squeaky wheel narrative and, you know, complaining, uh, rightfully so, not getting the ball as much as he should. But can Aiden O'Connell make it happen? So anyway, let's see what we got popping out for week number seven. And I know it's going to be popping out a lot of Russell Wilson at the beginning. I'll go through some of these lines. I'll look at my like the ones I like the best, but listen, you can pause the video and look through some of the lines that you like if you want to use them. You know, somebody maybe you've been looking at um, throughout the week. I like if you had, like my thing is like you you on someone early in the week, and you kind of got like leans that way, then he pops up on this. I, I think you can go with that. So there's how I like this one quite a bit, actually. You know, correlation with Hal, Terry, and Wandell coming back. Kelsey, there's the three running backs. Marquise Brown and Walker correlation. Look at this. Kelsey and Cheese, not that they correlate, but well, I guess they do. And I'm saying, Gene, this is. <laughs> Wow, I like this a lot because I'm actually kind of interested in how I like this and it really correlated everything. That's great. I like that one a lot. Let's go look at some of the um, other ones. Uh, look at this. You got Jacobs, Walker, Diggs, Lockett. There's a stack I made. Look at that one. That's a good one too. Um, the Samuel again as a, a Gino. Let's go to the end. Looking at the end, Lamar Gibbs in the same game. Lamar Gibbs, Brian Robinson, Lamar Keith Ford. See, there's two tight ends right here. You got Andrews and, and Joku, actually. Oh, this is interesting. It's using both Mahomes. Wow, look at this like full stack almost. It's Mahomes, Pacheco, <clears throat> Rasheed Rice, Keenan Allen as a comeback, Broncos defense. Okay, this is some, it's super interesting lines and it's some really good stacking options with comebacks this week. Sometimes you you don't have that, you know, overall. But um I think I like the first, like I think I like the first one the best for like a GPP type line. Yeah, this isn't bad at all. I like this at all. You got some late game here. Yeah, that's probably my favorite here. All right, guys. Well, if you enjoyed the video, please just give it a quick thumbs up. Just click it real quick. Appreciate it. Any comments, anything you'd like to see um, next week, week after, yada, yada. Um, you can hit me up on Twitter at Boo, Boo Jojo, B-O-O-J-O-J-O. -O -J -O -J -O. And you can always find me in the Discord chat, talking it up, uh, NFL, and then the college also. It should be a fun week. I'm actually pretty excited about week number seven. So uh, you guys, good luck. And let's see what the top of the leaderboard. All right. See ya.